hello everyone welcome to fintax by dr hari karri in this video i am going to explain about the one of the very important concept of the cost accounting that is absorption costing versus activity based costing in a very simple and easy way so direct to the point before discussing about the what is absorption costing and what is activity based costing first of all we should know what is cost cost of the product so whatever the expenditure incurred to make the product to produce the product to manufacture the product that is called cost and this cost consists of comprises of two that is direct cost and indirect cost so what is direct cost the cost which is directly traced with the product are directly are conveniently identified with a particular cost center or cost unit or product that is called direct cost whatever the direct material direct labor incurred to make the product that is called direct cost what about indirect cost the indirect costs are those costs that are incurred for the benefit of number of cost centers or number of cost units but they cannot be conveniently directly identified with a particular cost unit or product or cost center example building rent management salaries depreciation of the machinery etc so when it come to the cost calculation there is no issue with the direct cost calculation direct cost can be easily directly identified directly traced with the product so it is easy to calculate direct cost of the product the issue is only with the indirect cost which is also called as overheads so how to calculate the indirect cost of a product how to calculate the how to measure the how to ascertain the overhead cost of a product so if you check the companies which they are following from any years the method what they are following from the decades is traditional costing method which is called as absorption costing method so since this absorption the many the companies are following absorption costing method from the decades for a several years this is called as traditional costing method this is also called traditional method or conventional method so how the overhead costs are calculated or allocated under traditional absorption costing method in simple direct way so in traditional costing method first of all there will be a different departments or cost centers in the organization there are production departments and service departments so first the overheads will be grouped under the production department and service departments are are, are also called as production center service centers the first step is whatever the overheads are incurred in that cost will be calculated measured for the production department and service department and the next step is the service department overheads will be spread over the production departments and now you have the production department overheads and these production department or production center overheads or indirect costs are absorbed into the product cost based on either direct labor hours or machine hours so in traditional absorption costing there will be a production and service departments overheads will be calculated for production department and service department and service department overheads will be spread over production department and now the final production department overheads will be absorbed to the product either based on direct labor hours or machine hours that is the point here that is system they are following in the traditional absorption costing method but one point you have to keep in mind that the trading overhead allocation system what designed long decades ago when most companies manufactured only a limited range of products the system what we are following absorption costing is long decades ago at the time there is only a limited range of products manufactured by the companies at the time only the direct material and direct labor remains the elements of factory cost and overhead costs are very relatively small at that time the overhead cost is very small but now today the manufacturing companies are producing a wide range of products and you can imagine the overhead cost of the overheads very bulk incurred in large amount so direct labor represents a small part of total cost and overhead costs are of a considerable importance and also it is identified that in certain cases few cases the traditional costing system absorption costing system giving you inaccurate information inaccurate cost information so there is also one issue with the traditional absorption costing system now what is the solution according to the present condition market 
they developed a new method called as activity based costing so how the cost will be calculated i mean indirect cost overhead cost of a product is calculated how under activity based costing they will follow a process a step by step process is implemented what is the first step so in activity based costing overhead costs are assigned to first activities based on their use of resources and then finally they are assigned to the cost object it may be product or customer depending upon their use of activities so what is the first step the step one is identify different activities within the organization so what are the different activities within the organization here activities means related to material for example ordering and receiving of materials related to mission setting up of missions missioning assembling cost there are different types of activities incurred occurred in the organization so first to identify different activities and then now the step 2 is calculate the overhead cost for each activity i mean whatever the cost incurred for that activity will be bring together under that head of activity that is called cost pooling or cost buckets step 1 is identify different activities now all the overhead cost related to that activity will be bring under that head that is called that cost activity pool cost activity bucket and now the third step is determine the activity cost to drivers which is based for allocation cost to drivers for example number of purchase orders is a cost driver number of setups machine setups or machine hours number of parts these are all called as activity cost drivers so we have to identify determine the driver for each cost driver for each activity identified above and now the step 4 is calculate the activity cost driver rate for each activity how to calculate cost driver rate for each activity by using the formula total cost of activity that means in the step 2 whatever the cost pool cost bucket is there the total cost that amount divided by that name number of the activity drivers it will give you activity cost driver rate and finally assign the overhead cost to that cost object the object may be either it is a job or product or customer or service and this activity based costing system is considered as a more accurate cost of the product and this overhead allocation is done on a logical basis it enables better pricing policies by supplying accurate cost information and let us see one practical problem how to calculate this allocation cost of the product especially direct indirect cost overhead cost under both the methods of absorption costing versus activity based costing system so let us take the example abc limited manufacture two types of machinery equipment y and z and it applies or absorbs overheads on the basis of direct labor hours so they have two man two product two machinery equipments y and equipment z g and they are absorbing the overheads on the basis of direct labor hours the budgeted overheads and direct labor hours for the month of december are so the overhead amount is 1,242,500 and the direct labor hours given is 20,000 hours respectively and the other information is budgeted production volume i mean units 2500 2125 direct metal cost 300 per unit 450 per unit and direct labor cost is 450 and 600 how it is incurred product y needs 3 hours and product z needs 4 hours so 3 hours multiply with 150 per hour 450 dollars and it product z equipment z needs 4 hours so each in our 150 per hour 4 multiplied by 150 600 now coming to the next part abc limited overheads of 1,242,500 can be identified with three major activities now coming to the activities part order processing activity that is 210000 mission processing activity 875000 product inspection 157500 and these activities are driven by number of orders processed mission hours worked and inspection hours respectively the data given is this equipment y and equipment z for example 
for equipment Y, what is the number of orders process, number of machine hours and number of inspection hours is given. And for equipment Y, number of orders is also details is given. And required, assuming direct labor hours is the base for absorption or allocation of water production, you have to calculate the manufacturing cost of the equipment Y and Z. And also next to assuming second part use of activity based costing. By using the method of activity based costing, you have to calculate the manufacturing cost of the equipment Y and Z. And next one is whether you have to identify the cost is overhead cost is under absorbed or over absorbed, under costed or over costed for each equipment you have to calculate. As I told you before, there is no issue with direct cost calculation. Direct cost is directly whether it is a traditional cost absorption costing method or the second one activity based costing method, whatever may be direct cost calculation is same. The issue is only with the indirect cost overhead calculation is only here. So here in traditional costing method, absorption costing method, overheads are allocated based on the direct labor hours, number of direct labor hours. But coming to the activity based costing, we have a activities, three types of activities are there. For each activity, what is the activity driver is given and how many drivers are given, everything is given clearly. So we can calculate the cost of the product. How? So here I was explained statement showing cost per unit under traditional absorption costing. Why it is called traditional means we are following this from many decades. That's why it is called as traditional or conventional. So statement showing three columns, particulars, equipment Y, equipment Z, direct metal cost, it is already given in the product 300 per unit, 450 per unit, yes, directly taken from the question. Direct labor 450 and 600, yes, directly taken from the question. It is given directly in the question, equipment by 450 and 600. Now the issue is with the overheads allocation. In traditional absorption casting method, overheads are allocated to the product equipment here based on the direct labor hours. So we need a working notes here. I calculated the amount as a 186.375 and 248.5. But how I got this answer, I explained here down working notes what is written here. So overheads are absorbed based on direct labor hour. So we need to calculate overhead rate per labor hour. As I told you before in absorption casting method, overheads are allocated either based on direct labor hours or based on mission hours. So in this question they mentioned clearly labor hours. So we have to calculate the overhead rate per labor hour. How? What is the overhead amount? The overhead amount given is 1,242,500, okay. And next, what about the number of direct labor hours? Labor hours given is 20,000 hours, okay. And now, out of 20,000 hours, how many hours for Y and how many for hours for Z, you know. So, Y needs 3 hours per unit. One unit of Y need 3 hours and total units they manufacture 2,005 units. 2005 units multiply with 3 hours equal to 7500 hours. Coming to the Z, it needs 4 hours per unit. So total how many hours means they are manufacturing 3125 units. So 3125 units multiply with 4 hours each that equal to 12500 hours. So 7,500 plus 12,500 total equal to 20,000 hours. They already given 20,000 hours. But how this 20,000 hours means? This is the calculation. You can find yourself how you got this 20,000. They give directly, but how you can estimate? This is the process. Now I want overhead rate per direct labor hour. That equal to total amount of overhead divided by total direct labor hours. What is the overhead amount given in the question? 1,242,500 divided by over. What is the total direct labor hours given? 20,000. That equal to 62.125. The amount of overhead rate per direct labor hour is 62.125 dollars per hour, per labor hour. Now go to the solution here. Equipment Y needs 3 hours. So 3 hours multiply with 62.125 per hour that equal to 186.375 dollars. 
coming to the equipment jet they need 4 hours 4 hours multiply with 1 hour required 62.125 that is totally equal to 248.5 per equipment jet so if you add direct material direct labor and overhead cost the total cost per unit is 936.38 dollars and 1298.5 dollars per equipment jet if you want total cost means you can multiply with the number of units so this is the cost of the cost per unit calculation under absorption costing method which is traditional now the same calculation we will do for the activity based costing as i told you the first point is either it is absorption costing method or activity based costing method there is no difference in the direct calculation direct cost calculation the issue is only with the indirect cost overhead cost calculation only so i took here direct metal cost directly in the first statement equipment by 300 equipment jet 450 no change direct labor equipment by 450 equipment g 600 no change now overheads so under activity based costing system overheads are allocated based on the activities here there are three activities are there order processing activity machine processing activity product inspection activity for each activity they give the activity cost driver and number of drivers everything is given and what is the cost incurred i mean cost pool cost bucket for each activity is also given the question so here i prepared a statement overheads if you can see activity number of activities order processing machine processing product inspection for each activity what is the overhead amount it is given clearly in the question 210,000, 875,000, 157,500 and what is the cost to driver for each activity for each first activity order process number of orders processed for machine processing activity number of machine hours worked for product inspection number of inspection hours is the cost driver activity driver and what is the total number of drivers incurred for each activity total number of drivers for each activity for order processing 600 orders for machine processing 50,000 machine hours for product inspection 50,000 inspection hours so now overhead amount per driver uh, last column we calculated activity cost driver rate amount of overhead per activity cost driver how 210,000 divided by 600, 350 dollars. 875,000 divided by 50,000, 17.5 dollars. 157,500 divided by 15,000, that equal to 10.5 dollars. So this is the overhead amount per driver. It is given. And next to here, calculation coming to this one. Allocation of overhead to equipment y and z so now what is the overhead allocation for order each activity so for order processing we calculated 350 the overhead rate is the cost driver rate per hour is per driver rate is 350 and 350 multiply with the it is given in the question clearly how many orders they process order process 350 orders y 350 orders z 250 orders so here I did multiply with 350 and multiply with 250. Number of orders of Y 350, number of orders of Z 250. So 350 multiply with overhead amount per driver, rate per driver. And next machine processing. In question they mentioned clearly machine hours 23,000 hours of Y, 27,000 hours of Z, Z. Now here what I did is 23,000 multiply with 17.5 this is the driver rate per hour 23000 multiply with 17.5 27000 multiply with 17.5 so 472500 is the total overhead activity for this activity and coming to the product inspection it is given in the question inspection hours 4000 and 11000 so here 4000 multiply with what is the product inspection driver rate you calculated 10.5 so 4000 multiply with 10.5 11,000 multiply with 10.5, 115,500. So this is the overhead allocation for product Y and product Z, I mean equipment Y, equipment Z for each activity. Here in this question, three activities are there. 
so for each activity we calculated separately now go to the main question this statement is showing the calculation the cost per unit cost per unit so order processing under overheads first two activity overheads the first two activity overheads amounted to under why 122500 but i want per unit that's why i divided by with 2500 number of units of y 2500 number of units of z 3125 in here in the working notes we calculated overhead for the total each activity overhead in total but in the statement i want per unit divided by number of units so 49 161 61 so if you add sum of the direct material direct labor and overhead cost it will give you total cost per unit under activity based costing for y 9786.8 and for z 1266.16 so this statement will show you cost per unit calculation traditional costing absorption costing and this statement will show you under the activity based costing as i told you before there is no change difference in the direct cost calculation the difference is only with the overhead calculation here overhead is allocated based on the labor hours here overheads are allocated based on the activities number of activities their drivers and driver rate how many drivers they use now the last step is we have to identify when compared to the activity based costing which is accurate what happened to their traditional costing system whether it is under absorbed or over absorbed that we have to find out here i prepared a simple statement here in the cost distortion for each equipment cost distortion means you have to identify whether it is under costed or over costed so method of okay, so two equipments y and z and the first method traditional absorption costing the cost per unit 936.38 for g 1298.50 under activity based costing system which is considered as accurate it is 976.8 and 1266.18 so when compared to abc when compared to activity based costing system what happened to the traditional absorption costing method when compared to activity based costing if the traditional absorption costing calculation amount is less it is called as under costed if it is more it is called as over costed you have to compare the cost per unit under absorption costing method with cost per unit under activity based costing system so when compared to activity based costing system what happens to absorption costing system cost per unit so in absorption costing method cost per unit is less it is called as under costed if it is more it is called as over costed so here what happened according to traditional costing it is only 936.38 compared to 976.8 under abc so compared to abc 936.38 is less so less means under that's why it is called as under costed so the equipment y cost per unit is under costed coming to the equipment g the absorption costing value is 1298.5 when you compare to abc which is 1266.16 so when compared to abc what happened to absorption costing it is more when compared to abc what happens to the absorption costing cost per unit it is more so it will be over that means assumed as a over costed so in case of equipment y it is under costed in case of equipment j it is over costed so this is the exam explanation i hope you understand this calculation now finally we calculate the overhead cost per unit overhead cost allocation allocation using the traditional costing method then activity based costing method when compared to activity based costing system what happened under under the traditional okay absorption costing whether it is under costed or over costed this is the whole explanation i hope you understand the solution if you have any questions if you have any queries or if you need any more explanation or you need more practical problems you can contact me through my mail id harikrishnakarri@gmail.com thank you have a good day